Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've got a good video for you today, guys. Can I make mirrors out of perspex and wedge them in these recesses in my partition? All right, so behind me is the partition between my kitchen and my living room, right? Credit crunch, yeah. Um, you've seen my other wall in my other videos. I've put some 70s wallpaper on that one too. Now since I moved in, it's always been my intention. I've had this idea in my head. Do you remember like copper plate tile walls from the 70s? Basically just sheets of copper, but they have a bit of verdigris on them or whatever. It looked kind of cool. I used to use them on walls. Well, I can't afford those, but I had an idea. If I cut some perspex or ordered some perspex to size, exactly the right size to fit in these recesses, then I spray the back of them with mirror vacuum paint. I'm sure that's a thing. I could make myself some coloured mirrors to go in those holes, and that should look really cool, I think. So, um, let's go to the internet and order some. Okay, so here we are on perspexsheet.uk. Uh, I know I'm going orange tint, so I select orange. There it is. And basically it's just a case now of entering the, um, the dimensions that I had written down when I measured the shelves. I know I want it to be um, five millimeters thick, um, basically because I want it to be as stiff as possible. So that's the thickest option that they provide. You, you just put in the, the dimensions, shove it in the old basket, and, and order the order the basket of thing. Now you see here the finish options, the sawn, polished, or polished and buffed. Um, this will come into play later. Um, so just make a mental note of that. You can see that to have it polished, it, it costs more money. Um, I don't know whether you noticed the price just jumped up there. It was, it was a couple of quid or something to, to go for polished finish instead of just sawn, just rough cut. And here we are, you can see we're in the basket and uh, I've got all of the items there. I, don't, I think there was, there was uh, six, six sheets in total. Cut to the specific size. Theoretically, I should be able to wedge them straight into my uh, my shelves, no problem.
All right, let's see how this turned out. Well, I'm breaking it a bit because, um, because I don't know. My manager pointed out, he said, what's that paint for? And I said, putting on the back of glass. And he said, glass? I said, yeah. He said, you're using perspex. I said, so. He said, have you ever seen what paint can do to plastic? And I thought, shit, he's got a point. So I hope this hasn't eaten into the plastic and ruined it. I'm also slightly concerned about whether or not this baking paper that I used to separate the layers has had any effect on the paint. But here we go. In for a penny, in for a pan. Thankfully, I didn't have to worry about overspray because, because the Perspex comes with a protective film on it. Oh dear. We have some light abrasions. Oh God! You can see where that. Oh shit, you can see where that. Um, the paint has come away. Yeah, so look here, you can see, uh, you might be able to see, slightly worn off. So, so clearly the, uh, the, the, the this mirror paint stuff, the Rostolian mirror paint, um, has no real mechanical bond with with the plastic, and of course it wouldn't, especially glass, because uh, there's no keyway. Oh. I've written the dimensions. How do I need to what, figure a way of, of tagging these? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's stick them in the holes as we go, shall we? Right. How do I get this off with this backing off without wrecking it? Okay, so where's my notepad? Right, oh here's my little um, diagram of the holes in the wall. This one is labelled, incidentally, uh, this is Perspex brand Perspex, but I bought it from a website called Perspex Online, I think. Hang on, let me double check that. Yeah, I, I bought it from a, a website called Perspex Sheet, uh, dot UK. And there are a couple of gripes I have. Firstly, all of the sheets I purchased were one millimetre too narrow on both of the sides. You would have thought when you're ordering sh like with sizes like 334 mil that they would realise it needs to be exact, right? Another gripe I have. Look at this. Here are the options for finish the finish on the uh, on the. Uh, I'll, f it, I'll put a screenshot up. I ordered them polished with polished edges. I didn't order sawn. I didn't order polished and buffed. I ordered polished, which is which was an extra few pounds on each pan each each one of these. And whether you can see this, oh, I bloody painted over them. Anyway, believe me when I tell you, um, the edges were not focused, you bastard. Uh, believe me when I tell you, the edges were not polished. So I was robbed. Okay, let's hack, let's yak in more whacking. Right, uh, so this one's labeled 341 by 176. 341 by 170. Huh? Oh, okay, so it's this, it's this recess here that this one goes into. All right, moment of truth. Stop fucking putting off the inevitable. Let's see what the paint has done to this. I'll be left with a mirror. Well, shiver me timbers. It well, hmm. Not a brilliant mirror, but it's it's definitely not dull. Hello. Well, not great. <laughs> it's not a great mirror, is it? I mean, it, um, it's definitely reflective, but you don't get a crystal clear picture out of it. I, I honestly, I was, I was hoping for more. 
But I'll tell you what it does look like. It does look a bit like one of them mirror plate things from the 70s, which was exactly what I wanted. So, let's wedge it in the hole, shall we? <sighs> now, I uh, I actually offered these up. Um, I, actually, I actually offered these up um, before I painted them. And I don't know whether I was pissed when I, when I measured them. Uh, but they're all a piss fit. None of them are tight, except for one up there. So I need to find a way of mechanically securing them in the f***ing thing other than friction. I've bought these dots. And my thinking, I thought they were going to be thicker than that. If I put one in each corner and just slap it in there, I hope for the best. Does that sound like a good idea? Later on, if I decide to, I can go around with mastic. Woo! Okay, bravery time now. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I must have been pissed when I measured this because there's like a three mil gap either side. I think that looks pretty good. Quickly do the others. I noticed when I was painting it that this one actually has a scratch. Can you see that? Don't know if you can see that. It had a scratch on the back. Um, there you go. Say look. Shit! No, did you? Although these dots seem to be working quite well, I, I, I was a little bit afraid that um, due to the fact that I'm essentially sticking the paint to the wall and relying on the paint to hold on to the plastic, it might just fall off and ruin the paint job. However, they seem to be wrapping around the edges slightly and, 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 and capturing, capturing the plastic quite effectively. What? This one is miles away. Have I got these right? Man alive, that's awful. Well, I'll, I'll give you a close-up of this in a sec. This one is, there's a huge gap at the top. Look at that gap. Although, you have to be on your hands and knees to notice that. And if you're lucky enough to be on your hands and knees in my house, I don't think you're going to be worried about the decor. How did I do that? How did, it's almost like I've written down the wrong number, like I've dropped 10 mil, you know what I mean? I considered remeasuring these. Because <laughs> I found that notepad with the numbers on, and I don't remember measuring them in the first place. Um, and, you know, they always say, measure twice, cut once. Well, there's a reason they say that. Shit. 
Yeah, God knows how I did that. Hey, <laughs> watch it, you twat. Well, watch it, don't go down the sodding stairs. It's like a 20 foot drop back there. Mm. Again, about 50 foot gap at the top. Not so ideal, not ideal, but I suppose at least they go in. How, what, how I measured them. I, you know, I have, a, I, have, I have a feeling that there is another one of those diagrams somewhere where I re-measured them and did it properly. If I find another one of them diagrams in that notepad and I've ordered them to the wrong one. Like a tw <laughs> Alright, where was this hitting? Oh, I see the problem. There's a big old lump of paint in this corner. I think I'll scrape that out. <laughs> ah, right in the eye. <laughs> Stab myself in the face then. Be careful with knives, children. I actually found a really depressing newspaper wedged in this partition when I was doing it. It was up from not in the 90s and it said uh, there was a little kid that had written a letter to Father Christmas. It was like December 1990, whatever. This is Little kid that had written a letter to Father Christmas asking him to bring back his mummy who'd been murdered by some fucking home intruder. Oh Jesus Christ, I don't really bloody put a smile on your cake hole when you're fucking chiseling out the fucking chasing out bloody cables. Whoa! Jesus Christ, always use a step ladder, kids. Don't stand on a chair. Especially when you're a foot and a half away from a staircase. Okay, let's hope this goes in the hole. Giggity, 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 go. Oh, shit. Jesus H. Christ, this one is definitely a bit tight. You know what I reckon the problem is? I don't think the bloody square, the old fucking square, I reckon it's a trapezium uh, parallelogram. Anyway, in for a penny, in for a pound. No, this is no good. It's going to warp the um, sheet. I'll oh, fucking wedge it back. Oh, okay. Okay, false alarm. Don't panic. Don't panic! Definitely a bit of bend in there. That's wedged it. At least I've got one the right size, eh? So there you go, boys and girls. That is how I put snazzy looking orange mirrors in my partition wall. A bit like all of the DIY, you know, arts and crafts projects I do on this channel. It was a bit of a fucking, you know, mulligan, a bit of a flash in the pan, didn't quite work properly. I will put seal around the edges, but I won't bore you with that. There you go. It's an idea for you, isn't it?
Thanks for watching. I've been chatting Squip. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Please do subscribe. It takes about two minutes to make a YouTube account and it will be doing me a real favour. Catch you next time.